Welcome to the Global Mindset University Success Coach and True Media. My name is Ashad Rashid, and my name is Mahfouz Rashid. And on today's episode, we're going to be doing some educational Lexia Core 5 today. And, well, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to do some advanced word chains. It is the bus, yes, and we're going to be doing it. Well, let's so, get started. Hi, Mafoos. Today we're going to do this Lexia. Are we? Yeah. So, what is right here? Add a letter. You have drag the, the new letter word, to the spot did. where you want to add it. And we have to drag it to the spot to add it? Hmm. Well, this is a challenging one. We have spid and... Oh, ooh, this nonsense ooh. word is... This nonsense spid. word is spid. Mifus, what does nonsense mean? To make a nonsense word you hear. Change. Trim. A word. Two. Time. Real. Oh, yes. Nonsense means a word that not real. So you have twim and you change it to twime. Whoa. That's so cool. Time. Now change two. twime and chime. chime. Or thrime. <coughs> hmm, I'm not really sure what he said, but I think it's... Crime. That he said, like C H R I M E. Crime. Change crime to fine. Yes, prime. Prime. Prime is a nonsense word, which means it's not real. Prime. Two. Prime to hine or tine. Prime. Nrime. Nrime. Prime. Prime to. Prime to. Prime. Whoa, you added that N. Prime to. Chime. Prime to. To. Brine. Lurine. Flying. Ooh, that's cool. Flying. You changed flying. You changed flying to flying. Smine. Or slime. Yeah, slime. Wow. Slime to slime. Slime. Sloan, not Sloan. Sloan to Pine. Ooh, did she say Plown? Sloan to Plown. Plown to Blown? Plowed. Plowed. Methuselah, what are the letters in Plowed? P-L-O-D-E. Now you're going to draw K to D. Cloak. You change cloak, plowed into cloak. Whoa, look at that. Yes, you finished that advanced word chain. That is awesome. So, Mafuz, how happy are you since you completed advanced word chains? I'm really happy. Yes. Now let's continue on multi-syllable words. Good. Who you pressed it. Now it says pite. So a pite is it? This is not a vowel combination syllable. It is not a vowel combination syllable. Side of the syllable is, is a vowel is combination a syllable. Combined Choose vowel, this button vowel. if it is. Choose this button if it is not. Well, let's go ahead and see. It is not. Because this is not it a vowel is, combination it will be syllable. If it has two vowels next to each other, is P a vowel an combination syllable? Is it, is it a the vowel, vowel combination, combination syllable? Is the vowel yes, sound. it is. Peel is because it has P E A L. Toe. Is it a vowel combination? Well, W isn't a vowel, so. And the same thing to T, so it is not. And it, so it is not. 
This is a vowel combination syllable. The vowel oh, combination is, is the vowel, vowel sound. Combination syllable. Don't worry, Mufflers, you will get the hang of it. Both are word parts. Which one of these are Every words? syllable has a vowel that makes a sound. Ooh. Sort the different types of syllables into the correct boxes. Let's see. Closed syllables Closed have one vowel and end in one or more consonants. The Ooh. vowel sound is short. The vowel sound is short. End. Open syllables end in a single vowel. The vowel sound is long. Listen. Wow. So. Combination syllables contain a vowel with another vowel or a vowel with one or more consonants. The letters Ooh. make a vowel sound that is different from the short vowel sound. Wow. Listen. Bow. Bow. It is a vowel combination. Types of syllables into the correct boxes. Choose the heading of each box to hear the definition again. Choose the heading of each box. Roma food, you're clicking bead. It's a not. It's not a closed button. The vowel it's a vowel combination. Vowel combination. Vowel because combination it has two vowels, which are next to each other, or one or more consonants. A vowel with one or more consonants. The letters make a vowel sound that is different from the short vowel sound. Ooh. Okay. This is a See, vowel it combination like, uh, syllable. Vowel like combination vowel. syllables contain a vowel with another vowel or a vowel with one or more consonants. The letters make a vowel sound that is different from the short vowel sound. Ooh. Okay. So, vowel combination. Is brap a vowel combination? True. It looks like an open one. Oh, that's okay, Miss Open syllables. Open syllables end in a single vowel. The vowel sound is long. Right? It's long, right? Yeah? So, rap. Ooh, why don't you want to do it? Well, let's see. Well, you're on the second half. And... Wow, do you see that big bridge, Mufflers? Yeah? Yes, and look at those animals. There's a hedgehog, and there's also some frogs, and a swan. And also, look at that bus. Wow. Yeah, so, let's see. You want to go in here? Whoa, 374 minutes added. That's a big number. Wait, and there's also 16 minutes added. Ooh. First there was something. First there was 300 and something. So. So, you're clicking something. Whoa, you're on level 10, which is an English garden. So, 16 minutes added, one unit added, an English garden. Let's go and click next. And skip the animation or animation. But, so, which one do you want to do now? I think you want to do simple, sim simple suffixes, right? Ooh. Or mess, nest, ish, and n. So this cuteness, darken, statement, greenish, kindness, beaten. Oh. So nest goes with cuteness. That's right. Whoa, look at that. The statement goes with meant. What else goes with meant? Hmm. I don't think beaten goes with. With meant. What I think kindness goes with nest. Just like cute or cute. And beaten goes with N. Darken goes with N. 
not the letter and the the suffix n. Suffixes are words that go in the end in the end of a word. Goodness goes with n. Yes, I think it goes with goodness. I mean ness. Ish and goes with pinkish, bluish. I think that goes with ish. Okay, movement. Where does that go? Goes to meant. Yep. Where does Broden goes, my foes? Where does Broden come? Where does Broden goes? Broden goes with the M. Yes. And ish goes, and bluish goes with ish. Dimness. Is that how you say it? Yeah, dimness goes with ness. Wow, you've done your first one. Yay, this is my favorite part. The swan. And it's ducklings. Yay. Ooh. Childish goes with ish. Ooh, why not? You don't want to do it. Okay, let's. You, you have choices: sight words, five simple suffixes, or multisyllable words. Which one do you pick, my foos? Ooh, you pick sight words five. Hmm. Okay. Must use simple suffixes. Which one do you want to do? I think I want to do simple suffixes. So Broden goes with N, and Ness goes with Fairness, and Ish goes with Greenish. Now where does where does where does Quicken go, Mephus? Quicken goes with E N. Yes, great. Ness goes with loudness or fairness. What about meant? Let's see what goes in meant. Well, movement and yes, a lot of things. Selfish goes with ish. Quicken goes with deepen. And shipment goes with meant. Same thing to movement. Hey, Shadia and Mathus. Uh, welcome to the studio. How are things going on? Well, things are really going great. Right now, Mathus is doing... Yes, good job. Awesome. All right, thank you so much for being here to the Global Mindset University and Success Coach. Hope we see you on the next episode. My name is Mohammed Rashid Kamal. And my... My name is Mustafa Rishi Kamal. And my name is Ashada Rishi Kamal. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.
Oh, this is my first time.